Hey guys, enjoying our reaction videos? If you are, please click the link to the reacted video in the description and show the creator lots of support. Thanks guys. Okay guys, I gotta tell you, between these gamer poops, <laughs> the uh, Skyrim and Mass Effect 3 and Nun Piece, this is a... I have been having such a great freaking time lately. Plus we got Naruto going too, and Naruto's story is just mind-blowing. But these other two are so freaking funny. This is the most fun I've had in a long time, day after day. I mean, I, I get so psyched up to come watch videos with you guys every day now because of this. Now we're up to Nun Piece, episode 8 already. And, and again, I, I was a little concerned because you never know for sure how something's going to strike you without knowing the original material at all because I don't know anything about One Piece. But damn, this is some funny, funny shit. And like I say, this combined with gamer poop wrapped in regularly, yeah, th th there's no doubt. I've, I've always said I'm going to go out due to um, something red meat related, you know, going to stop my heart. It might be laughing at this shit. Because, again, I've always laughed so hard and so hard, so hard and so easy. And with watching these, yeah, it's, it, it'll, it'll, be a, it'll be a great video, though. Make sure make sure my death video when I'm laughing, make, make it go viral anyway. You know, just in my memory. All right, let's go. Nun Piece, Episode 8. Spectacular. What is it? It's our new flag! Yeah, but what's it supposed to be of? It's a horse doing Zumba, but note the eyes. His confusion from his poor coordination is compounded by his inability to express his emotions. Why does it have an erection? For glory, Zorro. For glory. <laughs> For glory. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 erections are glorious. I mean, you, you can't you can't fault them on that. <laughs> I'm serious about that fucking sound. <laughs> Clock your arteries. I was just talking about that. Holy shit, it's a sign. <laughs> You're right <at> your neighbor. <laughs> Do well let's go learn happy fun time this morning. What the fuck? <laughs> fucking purple eyes is hysterical. <laughs> Over and over. <laughs> the cow. <laughs> Fucking Tim. <laughs> fish will provide you with fish. Always remember. Are you stupid? <laughs> what the hell is this? I love random shit like this. <laughs> Smell the Cheerios. <laughs> this is awesome. You didn't pay for that. I guess you learned nothing. <laughs> Oh shit, Just my size hurt. Doesn't have horse cock <laughs> plastered all over so, it. Oh, hold on, I want to be able to hear it. <laughs> that was fucking awesome. And that stupid grin on his face while, while he's looping that running. Oh, ow, shit, that hurt. Johnny Butter! Doesn't have horse cock plastered all over it. <laughs> Only added the extra ones ironically because you were so drawn to that minor detail. <laughs> One, that was not a minor detail. Minor details don't take up 35% of the picture. Horse cock Two, is never a minor detail. ironically add all those horse sticks. You went so stark raving mad when we told you you were going to change it that you started huffing oh. paint thinner and then you freaked out and put horse boners on it. <laughs> Horse boners. <laughs> oh, 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 okay, I want to be on a ship that's powered by horse boner. <laughs> you have a down those life winches? Again, not even a thing, Captain. Oh. Wait, why? <laughs> so our heroes fought this war with an iron might and a ship covered in horse penises. <laughs> we found this island. I don't think we could have lasted much longer out there. Dude, I'm pretty sure you just did more exposition than the narrator. And then Zoro fell into a fucking coma because he's an overly critical ass. <laughs> <laughs> just randomly fell into a fucking coma? <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm sorry, guys. Once I get... That's another thing, too. Again, because I laugh so easy. Once I get laughing, it's hard to stop, especially when they keep coming at you with things like sort of falling into a coma for being an overly critical ass. You master of observation, you. Come on. There's no need for that. A 
Upon closer inspection, the crew noticed a bunch of bizarre crossbred animals, much to their dismay. Because this would present a puzzling question when it came to the development of the evolution on this island. <laughs> yeah. Not to mention all the weird kinds of freaky animal boning that was going on. <laughs> Are you moss-haired sword swallower? Come on, there's no need for that. So you Jeez. assholes think you can do my shoot, do you? <laughs> well then, get shot. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Come on, there is no need for that. Oh shit! Hey, he said it in that direction. <laughs> Come on, let's go wake Zoro up. Ah. <laughs> oh. I think oh. Tina Fey is a good portrayal of a strong postmodern woman. I agree completely. I also personally enjoyed Amy Poehler's performance as a lovable but headstrong government employee. It felt relatable and empowered, yet not overbearing. The bush is talking. Why is the bush talking? More importantly, why is it so well versed in entertainment? <laughs> yeah. I got it again. Oh, fuck me. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> that, is, that is one pop culture loving bush. <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. Oh my god, is that their son? Yeah, I couldn't find anything bigger to cover up your ugly face. <laughs> yeah, that's not much of a face. Your face looks kind of familiar. Have we met before? <laughs> I doubt it. I'm sure I just look like someone else you know. No one is going to mistake you for anybody else, you horribly unique freak show. <laughs> you're your superior that way. First off, that wasn't an insult. Secondly, if I came off a little cross, it's because I didn't expect today to include me getting shot by a goddamn chia pet. <laughs> I, goddamn chia. I didn't recognize you at first. I was in the middle of the scene when you came walking into the background of the shot. I get very passionate about my work, I'm afraid. I completely forgive you because I really don't care because I really yeah <laughs> easy to forgive when you don't give a shit hey who the fuck shot me <laughs> thank you I like Zorro I told you guys that hey who the fuck shot shit, me is that man in a box he's definitely a man and he's definitely in a box I think you just went up the master <laughs> hey, that's enough, bro. No, that's the star and director of Man in the Box, the movie. Yeah, the secret's out. But I thought they gave you all the debriefing on the way here. <laughs> huh? You are the replacement crew they sent, right? I got a little excited when I saw your ship. Of course Oops. we're here to help you with your whatever. How's the pay? Horrible. We'll take it. We'll take it. <laughs> so uh, let me get you up to speed. We're currently filming Man in the Box 2, where our hero, that's me, has just found his way onto uncharted land. Straw Hat, you're my co-star. Mosshead, you work the camera. Long nose, wow. the and orange hair, you're the love interest. Uh oh, no offense. And here comes the Holy shit, they just they just stumbled into you know starring roles in Man in a Box too. Wow, wish that would happen to me. The offense, but this script is fuck all confusing, and most of it is written like it was from a fourth grader. That's because it was. We almost blew the entire budget on the location. It turns out this habitat is comprised completely of endangered animals. Permits <laughs> alone costed an arm and a leg. But I guess that's really nothing compared to what we spent on marketing. I mean, we got a firm out of this world. Literally. <laughs> yeah, I actually run a rather successful Death the kid. firm in my spare time. We've determined the internet most people of graphics are in love with Jennifer Lawrence. But if you'll note this next chart, we've discovered that Jennifer... Well, th this kid is talking so... Hold on, I just got to turn it up a little bit. I can't even hear what he's saying. Might make the rest of it loud, but... I just want to hear what he was saying. Hold on, let me back it up a little. We've determined that the internet and most key demographics are in love with Jennifer Lawrence. But if you'll note this next chart, we've discovered that Jennifer Lawrence plus penis equals Chris Pratt. As our research unfolded, we discovered an ideal situation for your casting model. Those douchebags charged us $59 million. <laughs> I charged those douchebags $59 million. <laughs> well, don't you worry. To come up with the fact that Chris Pratt is Jennifer Lawrence with a dick. I like it. it seems money, like money well spent. This movie made in less than a week, and you'll make back all your money and then some. Wait, so am I narrating like the show or like the movie? <laughs> Fuck it up. I'm just going to read the words. Man in a Box 2. Never made it to shelves. The following is the only surviving footage recovered from the behind the scenes experience. I want it. The movie? Uh, it was a disaster right from the start. The co star was yes. incompatible, and it didn't exactly help that Nami's character was named Ann Sook. They said, say, sit still, and suck. Shut, shut, and suck. Fine, I think we can use it. I just feel bad for Usopp, really. No one really cares about the editor. What did it say about Usopp? Still, I think we can use it. 
is upset that in the green screen in this background is harder for the editor and ironically contradicting the primary usage of a green screen, which is to have the actor in a different location more easily. Okay. <laughs> the really big issue was that we were worried we were going to alienate or offend some of the audience. But I think in the end we were able to maintain our vision and still keep everyone happy. All right, in this next scene, all the animals have AIDS. This was a high concept piece. <laughs> I guess. Was, thank God I wasn't it's here. Uh, <laughs> All right, now that we got the extras out of the way, for the final scene, Luffy will open up all the treasure chests on top of his giant rock. And action. Um, Zoro? Yeah? What type of film genre would you put the first man in the box in? Uh, I think it's kind of like a snuff film. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of vibrating penises, I'm assuming. <laughs> Fine, I think we can use it. Alright, this next scene all the This episode is particularly bizarre. Eggs. Oh sure it is eight. What the hell is going on, you guys? Plus penis. penis. Chris Pratt. What? What the fuck was that? This is so bizarre. <laughs> That was a parody. <laughs> One piece is owned by some guys in a van or something. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> I am now being told that it's owned by Funimation, Aichiro Oda Shushuya, Toy Animation, and Fuji TV. <laughs> I'm being told they're not really ever have been in the same van. <laughs> Can they prove that? I guess it took several fans. <laughs> This, oh my god, this guy's humor is so randomly fucking awesome. <laughs> Never told him <laughs> in separate pants at the same time. <laughs> I keep thinking of Chris Farley and living in a van down by the river. No, they said it's possible they may have been in separate pants at one point. That's not relevant to this. Come, come on, guys. Any of you that have seen Monty Python on the Holy Grail, isn't that making a flashback? <laughs> well qualified <man. laughs> with the title screens. Th that's perfect Monty Python Holy Grail entertainment here. Just <laughs> just meant to totally guys. <laughs> I could see that happening. <laughs> Somebody gave out a knife. <laughs> oh my god, this is good. <laughs> Would you take something off the switch? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, I love this guy's sense of humor. It's getting ugly. I'm submitting my resume all over the internet. <laughs> it's been six months. I work at a little service now. Flash forward. <laughs> I really enjoy the driving. Oh, that's good. He's happy. <laughs> Taking people around. I got a call yesterday for a huge fair. Oh no, what's this gonna be? <laughs> this is going to be Jennifer Lawrence and or Chris Pratt. The problem was there was just too many people. <laughs> so, so I had to bring a van. Uh, <laughs> the fair was Funimation. <laughs> Trona, sweet, <laughs> toy animation for GTV. Okay. <laughs> From this point on, I'm legal to say his own is very good with that knife. <laughs> <laughs> he really went that far to get to that. I don't know if you're tired. Thanks for watching. Oh, and this song playing is called A Lover's Holiday. I was actually wondering that by the 1980s group Change. You should check it out. It's got an awesome part with trumpets in it further on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think that, oh my god, I love this type of humor. Vibe for real? Was it for real? Might be. I shot some really fucked up shit. <laughs> <laughs> this just keeps getting better and better too. That was <laughs> that was speaking bizarre. My sides hurt so I'm not lying, guys. My sides hurt so damn bad. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> how can you how can you not love a series where an entire episode can basically revolve around the drawing of horse penis? <laughs> Entertainment does not get better than that. I don't care what anybody says.